match between them. They're both really consistent players, number one. Um, and then number two, they've both been seeing relative amount of success. So the head-to-head -head is definitely going to be something interesting to watch. We get into game one, Inkling versus Wolf. Yeah, uh, so something that uh, Bert told me just the other day is that last night he actually got a ton of experience versus high-level Wolf. He got to play hockey. I think he got to play another Wolf. Zanrio. Uh, Zanrio, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's uh, warmed up in this matchup. But that is not stopping Highwayman from bear stringing him across the No, stage. not at all. Highwayman's the kind of player not to get distracted from what matchup experience you may or may not have. He's got a solid game plan. He's going to see how you react to it. Oh, man. This is this is going to be one of the most important matchups to know, simply because it's two top tiers. Like, Oh, my goodness. The, that's it. That timing was ridiculous. It looked like he was still in the air. Yeah, a lot of the times Spurs using that as like a counter. Like he'll get hit away and it'll look like he'll be in stun. Right. And he'll just side B right out of it. I seen Yeah, he's on the way to you. Yeah, it's really, really, really scary. And a lot of characters have that kind of counter move that they do, whether it be Luigi spamming Nair to get out of hit stun or something like that. Inkling does roller. Right. Uh oh. He'll uh -oh. be able to survive. He's got his double jump and Inkling's recovery is really good. Yeah. But Highwayman with the opportunity here had the ledge trapping, but let Bear back on. Uh, down tilt, interesting choice there. Uh, I know it. I know it's hard for a lot of the Inklings uh, to do the jab, jab, forward smash stuff. Simply. Oh they my just... gosh, the tech! Oh god, he's got he's got really good at like reading those, especially yeah. the retreating options. Yeah, for sure. I mean, at that kind of spacing, I think Burr's just aware that you don't have too many options. So if you're not teching in place, uh, or if you not if you're teching and he reads it, um, then you know a massive rewards on the way. Yeah, and since Roller is like a moving hitbox, like I would not be surprised if there are certain setups on like kind of the corners of stages where you could just trap someone. Like you right. cover the get up, maybe get up attack, and roll away. That's like three strong offense. Yeah. All right, Highwayman on the board. I was about to say that Burr was really uh, destroying this first match, but Highwayman, he's not too far behind. I've seen comebacks from the last stock before. I've seen them too many times, and this is a good start for him right now. Ooh, I think he went for the parry there and missed it. Uh, didn't get caught by the roller. Rolled in this time, which I think Burr is doing exactly what I was explaining, where he's covering get up and then roll and away. Then roll away. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it is good because if you roll in, it uh, keeps him safe, so it's like a passive option for him. If oh, you... yeah, yeah. It's definitely like one of those 50-50s where you either win or don't lose. Right. Ooh, yeah, nice. Very well put. Returning back to neutral here, Burr still looking for his way in, and Highwayman, it doesn't really look like he wants to take commitments to try and get the damage here. Looks like he's trying to get Burr to come out of his shell, get to him instead. I'm not quite positive that that could be the good idea here, but... Yeah, I, he the double jump was gone there. I might have wanted to see a little bit more aggression off stage when he only had that oh! B, and that's probably going to be it. Yeah, he had enough no. time. Oh, no! I, I don't guess, think. I think he felt like he had enough time to get the F smash with a little bit of butter on it, but instead he didn't. Like he did that instead of switching sides and going for the F smash uh, on the left side of the stage. Does Inkling's forward smash have a sour spot? That looked really weak. I mean, I guess it was out of roller, which is why it looked so weak. But I'm not actually sure. That's a good question. There it is. Ooh, big blast right there. Two stock for Burr and Highwayman. He has some small moments of ingenuity with some burst damage, but struggling to get kills or actually just avoid roller so he doesn't die. Yeah, I think that's going to be the big ad adaptation here. And we kind of saw it at the end. Like, there was definitely a high amount of rollers at the beginning of it. And I mean, man started, like, checking it was uh, King DD. Yeah, we're yeah. going to see a completely different switch. He's like, all right, that just didn't work. I I'm a go for something he might not be ready for. Yeah, Highwayman does have the DDD in the back pocket. He really loves this character. Uh, and, you know, the character received a good amount of love in this iteration of Smash, so uh, Inhale being one of them. So that's going to take out Splat Bomb. Not that that was necessarily a problem for him before. Maybe just comfort. Yeah, I think I think uh, with these picks of characters that they played in Smash 4, uh, not only is it a bit of comfort, but you're going to see a little bit more consistency because they just have more uh, knowledge of different situations. Right. And they're not going to be cut off guard so Easier much. to recognize situations, but situation we recognize right there, roller to F smash, almost taking Highwayman stock. Uh, but what's going to be a really big factor in this match between these two right now and these two characters is that Ingling is 
pretty vulnerable, or not vulnerable, uh, struggles to kill. Uh, and so a heavy is definitely not a fun time for Burr. Oh my goodness. Now, you know what? You got it. <laughs> you got it. He got the commentator's oh! blessing. Yeah, the blessing. No more curses. We bless out here. Bless up. <laughs> oh, blessed him with the hammer on top of the noggin. That was good pressure. A lot of uh, characters that have those projectiles that they like to throw onto stage while they're recovering uh, can really be shut down if you just go out there and shove a hitbox in their face. Uh, I know Brewer has a particular problem that he'll want to shoot the splat bomb whenever he can if he doesn't think he's being pressured. Right. Oh, oh my. good splat bomb. That That's not the color he picked. <laughs> Roller attempt at number two. Yeah, why not? You're not getting punished for it. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, no, you know, all right, all right. Data <laughs> data being acquired. Yeah, yeah, dude, why not? You're just getting data. That's what I said in the first place, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good that jump is. over from Highwayman, but no conversion. It would. I, oh, everybody. Would that trade? Everybody do the hokey pokey. No one knew what was going on. That. Okay, that's the kind of knowledge that, like, takes sets. Like, you save that for the right opportunity, and you're just going to get a kill. Oh, man. Opportunities being given to Burr for these kills because Highwayman is trying to challenge the up air with an air. And that up throw up air is oh. really consistent against DDD. I haven't he's gotten it like My twice. lord, this is a blue boy. And uh Roland is not gonna be good enough to get in. That's a rough situation because that will lock you in shield, that will push you back, that will put you Yeah, and then DDD doesn't have like a momentum giving move to really get him through that. Yeah, and I bet I bet it beats uh, the Gordo too. Probably. Oh my! That yeah. almost killed. Getting punished again for throwing splat bomb while oh. recovering. These close calls with the Gordo. He oh. can't take too many of these. I mean, he can. He's got another stock. I imagine Bird doesn't want to have to deal with the next stock. Whoa! Yikes! Okay, so now we're in just throw kill percent. Heck yeah! Oh no! Miss input and from Burr's Burr. Throwing. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tack away. Yep. Damn. Damn. Didn't even that. need to space it. Just whole entire paintbrush. The whole thing. Yeah, that didn't look like it had a sour spot. I think it's just so maybe it was just where he was on the stage. It looked like it didn't go very far, but he traveled the whole entire distance of PS2, and That's I think true. a little bit more. So. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, great uh, stuff for Burr. He basically made that look like almost flawless yeah i, I really like the way you played that yeah